Hi, Shalom everyone. Welcome to our Kajan Assembly of God devotions. Today is number four, and I'm so glad that I'm having this opportunity, staying at home, sharing the Word of God with all of you. Just a bit of my thoughts, uh, only two scriptures today. So let, let us turn to Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 to 16. Okay, I'll read, and uh, if you find a scripture, you can read together. All right, the scripture says this, verse 12. Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I'll give to each person according to what they have done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dots, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning stars. So let us uh, take note of verse 14. It says here, Blessed are those who wash their robes. And these are the people that will have the right to the tree of life. And they'll go through the gates into the city. So the heaven door is open for those people who wash their robes. So in other translation, actually in Greek, wash your robes it doesn't mean literally you wash your garments but it's actually it means this blessed are those that do his commandment that do the will of god these people will be the one that enter into the uh, kingdom of god enter into uh, heaven the gates of heaven and they can they have the right to the tree of life. So, what does it mean by washing their robes? You know, it's really by doing the commandment that God gave us. You know, and you, you, we all know that the greatest commandment is this, that we need to love our God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. And uh, at the same time, we love our neighbors, as ourself love your neighbors as yourself so the doing the will of God is very important that we do not just give lip service to God but we really want to please him by becoming his eyes his mouth his ears his hand and his feet so that is very important so this will lead us to the next scripture which is James chapter 2 verse 14 to 20 so uh, let's turn to James 2, 14 to 20. I'll read. So verse from verse 14. What good it is, is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, Keep warm and well fed, but does nothing, can I repeat, does nothing about their physical needs. What good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by actions, is dead. <clears throat> Alright. Then verse 18, but someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe there, uh, that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish people, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? So it's obviously faith without deeds or actions is dead, according to James. In fact, if we have faith, we need to leave out the faith. We need to practice what we preach. We need to actually know the Word of God 
and do the will of God, especially His commandments. So that is very, very important. And especially right now, you know, we, we, um, we're talking about, you know, helping the poor, reaching out to the needy, sharing the gospel, sharing the love of Christ. Um, in order to do so, to spread the love, we need to practice what we preach. We need to do the commandment of God. That we need to love our neighbors as ourselves. So there are three points I would like to bring, um, to bring out from James chapter 2, verse 14 to 20. Okay, point number one is in verse um, 16. If one of you says to them, notice the word says, you say it, go in peace, keep warm and well fed. You go and do what you need to do, but you did nothing. So again, you see, these are the believers that only give lip service. And this kind of believer, they say, but they don't do. And they learn and learn, they go Bible study, they go for a lot of conferences, seminars, but after they learn, they do not do. So these believers, I call them intellectual um, faith. Um, the believer they practice intellectual faith, meaning they only know in their mind, but they do not do. They know a lot of scriptures, they know a lot of things, they have, they're forever learning, going from um, classes to classes, conference to conference. But if you ask them, have they done this? Have they do evangelism? Have they helped the poor? You know, help the widow? They will, the answer is no. So these people, their faith is only at their intellectual level. It's only in their mind. They have, their faith is only at the mind level. They have never translated into actions. So this is faith number one. Um, so second point uh, can be found in verse 19. I, I will read for you. You believe that there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and they tremble, they shudder. The demons believe in God. The demons know God because they exist even before you. You know, they are created by God. They are the fallen angels. They know God. Maybe even better than some of the believers, you know. So, I don't want to say that, uh, I actually want to say uh, that this is what we call demonic faith, you know. Uh, where you are like demons, you know. Not, not that you are demons, but you behave like them. Because you know God, but you will not do the will of God. Alright. So, this is what, and, and they tremble. They tremble. They, they, they're scared of God. Even though they're scared, they do not do the will of God. This one, I call it emotional faith. You, your faith level is only in your emotions. You know the truth. You may be trembled because uh, you, have not, you have not done the truth, but you will not do it. The, the, the demons, they know the truth. They, they're afraid of God. They, they know who God is, but they will not do the will of God. So at that level, you know, it's again about doing. That you know God, you, you, you have emotion, you show emotion when you approach God, alright? But you do not practice the Word of God. Bring it to another level. A lot of charismatic believers, you know, we, we, we are like this. We are very emotional. We cry during worship, okay? We, we, we need prayer, we go to the altar, and then... We, we become very emotional, all right? We, we manifest in our emotions. Uh, we may even slay the spirit at the altar, but after that, after we uh, stand up and we go back to our seat, we go back home, we are still the same. So this is what I call your faith level is just emotions. You use your emotion a lot, but you don't, do not do the will of God. So finally, the last point is this, that can be found in verse 17. That in the same way, faith by itself, it is not accompanied by action, it's dead. So this is what I call the dynamic, uh, dynamic faith, uh, a, 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 a true faith. The faith that we know that you have washed your robes, that you do the will and commandments of God. 
that you believe God, you believe in His commandment, and you want to live out your faith by doing it, that you love your brothers and sisters in Christ. You do what you preach. You go out and reach out, do evangelism. You love one another. You know, you see uh, people in needs, you uh, reach out your hands and help them. So this is what, uh, brother and sister, that as believer, this kind of uh, uh, Christians that uh, not only have faith, but they are with actions. This kind of believe, believer, the Bible said, like in Revelation chapter 22, um, this believer will have the right of the tree of life and and they will they will enter the gate to the city the new jerusalem amen so this is a short sharing uh, for you to um, digest in your spirit and i hope you be blessed by the uh, devotions that i share uh, today so i hope you have a blessed day okay see you all have a nice day god bless you